Welcome to My Secret Math Tutor. Now, in this example, we're going to talk a lot about factorial notation. So, you may have seen this in probability a lot, and it's basically the exclamation mark next to the number. This is known as factorial notation. And here's basically what it means. If you see an exclamation mark next to the number, like this 5 here, it means to start with that number, the 5, and multiply by 1 less every time until you eventually get to 1. So when you see something like 5 factorial, it really means 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And you can see it's a very compact way to write this entire string of numbers. Okay? To calculate it, you would basically just run through these calculations. So 5 times 4 gives us 20, times 3 would be 60, and then times 2, 120, 120 times 1, 120. Perfect. So 5 factorial is 120. Now in a few formulas, you'll also notice that the division can be combined with factorial notation. Now these look like difficult problems to handle, but it's basically a lot of canceling. So here's what I recommend. First write out what the top means. So 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 2 times 1. Looks good and then write out what the bottom is. There we go. And then borrow your simplifying rules for fractions to cancel out some common factors. So you'll notice in the bottom and in the top I have an 8. Well, those are gone. Same thing with the 7s, the 6s, the 5s, 4s, 3s, 2s, and 1s. In fact, everything cancels out except for just the 10 and the 9. This is how I can find my answer. So the only thing I'm going to multiply is just 10 times 9 and get 90. Perfect. All right, now there is one more special case that you do want to know about. If you ever see 0 factorial, that is a special case, and it's equal to just 1. So it may show up in a few different formulas, but be on the watch out for it. Alright, if you'd like to see some more videos, please visit MySecretMathTutor.com.